My name is uh, Maxime Fabiard, and uh, I've been a barista for a long time, actually. I spent almost all of my 20s working in coffee. I have another career, I have a, another life outside of this, so I was literally practicing at night uh, after work. What do you focus on when you're preparing? What do you think the judges are gonna be on the lookout for that you really wanna nail? You wanna find tasting notes and really like pinpoint the, the tasting notes. You gotta be very precise and that's how you get points. I've pulled the espresso on frozen stainless steel balls to lock in aromas of fresh jasmine. We have the fun part. We are taste the most amazing coffees. It's how they present this espresso and the balance, the clarity, and the complexity that it has. The hard part, honestly, is just managing everything. Because you're doing a lot in a very short amount of time. Doing your espressos and not having any mess around, because they do evaluate that. As you're pouring the milk drink, they evaluate the symmetry of the latte art on top. Even just making a little dot, it needs to be perfectly symmetrical in the cup. And of course, like, when you're nervous, that doesn't happen, right? Because you're going to be shaking a little bit. How do you manage that much caffeine intake in a day? <laughs> it, there's not such a thing like too much coffee. I've been scoring, tasting coffees for a living, so I just cannot imagine my life without caffeine. Well, I'll be going over time, but did my best. <laughs> I went over time, I did some mistakes, but I've learned a lot. I, like I, I know I for sure am a better barista now, and I can't wait to do it again. Time. <laughs>